nine days ago on Long Island at the BBL Classic, Danielle McEwen was the top seed. But in the championship match, she had not one, not two, but three 7-10 splits and a loss to Brianna Cote. This week, she's back as the top seed, and the stakes could be any higher. It's the U.S. Women's Open. Beautiful Lake George in upstate New York is the gateway to the Adirondack Mountains. The Queen of American Lakes. Plenty of boating, fishing, and fun. Not far away is Kingpin's Alley Family Fun Center in South Glens Falls, where it's time for the second of three majors on the 2022 PWBA season of the U.S. Women's Open. Five of the world's best bowlers are here competing for big prize money, the coveted green jacket, and a place in women's bowling history. Welcome, bowling fans. This is Dave Ryan alongside the Hall of Famer, Carolyn Dorn. Pallet, we have Step Ladder Finals tonight in the first match. Aaron McCarthy looks for her first title of the year against Singapore's Sheena Ong, each seeking their first career major. The winner takes on 15 time titles. Future Hall of Famer Shannon O'Keefe back on TV again to see Jordan Richard on TV for a second time this year and for the second straight week. The top seed is tour star Danielle McEwen. She joins us now. Danielle, last week on Long Island, we talked about it today. The top seed, such tough breaks with the three, seven, ten splits in a title match against Brianna Cote. How do you put that in the pass and focus on this one match tonight? Exactly that. It's behind me. Um, I've used it as fuel to the fire all week to get me back here, and I'm just hoping for a little bit of luck on my side tonight. Okay, and you mentioned that you're very happy physically where you're at with your bowling, but you did mention that you have a trigger that you use when you feel like you're getting a little bit out of tempo. What is that trigger? Um, I actually have a couple, so uh, it'd be hard to go through them all, but I, I just know what they are. If, if it's feeling like this, it's that. If it's feeling like that, it's that. So I just go to them quickly and try to make good shots. Thanks, Daniel. See you in the title match later on tonight. CDB, it's time for a future for the sport oral pattern for tonight. Well, this oil pattern was either fun for you or not fun for you. 38 feet, low volume of oil, 12 milliliters going forward, six back. A total of 18 milliliters of ice oil. Ice is known to carry down. The ladies had to begin starting around the track area, but had to get the ball to the right. There was absolutely no hold in the middle part of the lane. As they went from pair to pair, they opted to move in. Angles got steeper to get that ball back off the pattern. Now here's the unique factor about this pattern. The middle part of the lane became the tester pair to pair. As the oil started to carry down, the middle part of the lane became very tight. So your ball either went too long or hooked early. That's what made spares so important this week. It is time to ball here in South Glens Falls, New York. U.S. Women's Open title is on the line. First match, McCarthy and Hunt. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our number five seed from Elkhorn, Nebraska, Aaron McCarthy. A full-time nurse. Elkhorn, the Omaha area. Great college bowler at Nebraska. Busy lifestyle. Emergency room nurse, full-time. Sometimes works double shifts. Not a lot of time for bowling. But she's back on TV. Her game back in gear. And a little bit of a high shot for her first of the night. Leaves the 6th end. I definitely think we're going to see a little bit of this until, of course, the lanes just start to transition as it does every time a ball goes down the lane. Already playing deep again. We saw, said we were going to see bowling balls that were maybe some strong balls, but not as much surface this week with such a low volume of oil. The ladies used less surface to get the ball through the front part of the lane. Cross lane, 6 10, got that. And has a mark to begin her night. Sheena Ung. Only on U.S. soil for a couple of weeks. Came for the Long Island Classic Series of two events in Rockville Center. Teammate Sherry Tan was a winner there. She'll try to win here for Team Singer Award tonight. It's very high as well. The 6 9 10 left on Sheena's first shot of the night. 
Shane had taken a little bit of a deep breath after that shot. One of the things she has really worked on is being softer at the bottom. Her natural game is to hit up on it, actually kind of grab it just a little bit and hit up on it. And she said she was getting a bad read on the lane. She had to be smoother and cleaner. Covers nicely, has a spare. The last thing you want early in a match is an open. So let's take a look. She takes five steps. She works on really getting the ball into her swing right here, which is fantastic. She has worked on that. But right here, go one more click on this fourth, one more fourth step. Go right here as she's getting into her fourth step. Her swing gets really high and really steep. When it gets too steep, that's when she really pulls down on it and hits up on it on the end. One, two, eight, ten, wash up. Top leave on the left. Gets this one way right. Remember, I spoke about the oil pattern. That middle part of the lane became the most important part of the lane. If you got it too far right, at times it would not hook back. And at times, if you miss left, it hooked early. It depended on what pair you were on. That's how different they were lane to lane. Nice come. Converts, how about that? Gina Ong. One, two, eight, ten, not easy. And early on, it's the Cisco spare of the game. CDB, no doubt about that. Fantastic effort. Look at this. Takes her hand out of it, hits to the left side of the head pin, slides it right over. Confidence builder. Has to be for Shana. Tough lead, tough spare. Converts. Here's Aaron, right lane, got a real hurry, it does, and a good shot, leaves a 10 pin. Fantastic shot by Aaron. Both of these ladies like to hook a ball, and let me tell you, they are very similar. When they did hook it, they get on the side of it just a little bit, but you can see here, Aaron is way behind that ball. We talked about that, how they want it even out. Right here, where that ball starts to enter this pocket, you're gonna see a smooth motion, and that's what the ladies looked for. When they got into trouble and felt uncomfortable, the smoother the motion, the better. Cross lane, single pin spare conversion, has a 10 pin, no problem there. Third kind of experience, U.S. Women's Open TV show, CDB, third place in 2017 and 2018. Coming from Kingspin Alley Family Fun Center, Dave, Carol, and our entire crew, great to have with us here from the greater Albany, New York area. About 50 minutes north of New York's capital city. Left lane for Aaron. Looks good. Looking for some great PWBA gear. Visit the official online store of the PWBA at shoppwba.com. I made us pick up a few teddy bears for all the kids. <laughs> you need, what do you need, 10 of them? <laughs> <laughs> if I buy a lot, do I get a good deal on the discount? Great match play record. 56 games, this long, grueling format. And a perfect shot in the right lane for Shayna Ong. And that shot, compared to her last two, her swing got to the top, came down much smoother, much quicker off her hand. Watch that right behind it fires through it, but look at the motion. Again, this spot seems to be where the ladies are trying to get their ball to for that smooth motion. And watch this, it just, everybody said it last night, I wanted my ball to stop as much as, as possible. And that was perfect. Two career titles, 2018 Las Vegas Open, 2019 in Leonard Park, California. So it's been a while. 2-10 split, and a tough break there with a 4-10. Yikes. Shana made a ball change, stronger ball than the ball she was using on the right lane and the ball she used on her last shot. Roll, revs up just a little bit sooner. And she pays, honestly, that I thought would be a, a four pin. That's a high four pin. She pays the ultimate price, leaving the 4-10.
Bruno saw the washout conversion. Got it! How about that? Shane Ong got one but two fantastic conversions. The 4 10 this time to stay clean in match number one. Fabulous. Look at this. Does exactly what she needs to do. Hits to the left of the four pin and slides it over like it had oh, eyes. Man. I mean, we are seeing some amazing spare shooting. All five bowlers we talked to today said the spare conversions on this very tough pattern. On a fourth U.S. Open this year. It is a grueling grind to get this far. Right lane for Aaron. Wants it to hook. Doesn't. White hook enough for these two pickers. And you heard her say that as soon as she let the ball go. She said, hook. Again, she got it way right. Yep. Let's take a look right here. She gets it going right a little bit earlier. And here, uh, the spot they're looking for is about right here. This is way out around that 5 6 board. And it just does not come back as strong as it did the last time. But again, here's what the ladies were saying last night. Even on the bad shots, if you could leave a two pin, it was spareable. It was a makeable spare. And you wanted to ha manage those games and have the 180s, 190s. You still had a chance to win the match. And those bonus pins were crucial this week. Three times last year, Aaron did make championship round appearances. Fourth place, all three. Bowers Journal Classic, ITRC Classic, and the Twin Cities Open. Ninth time in her career she's been in the championship round. Saw the win probability at this point, but it's anyone's match. Perfect location, left lane, crunches the one three pocket. And McCarthy with a big shot. Tonight, 10 Eastern, it's a star set of WNBA showdown. It's Candace Parker and the Sky go head to head against. Asia Wilson and the Aces, watch it here on CBS Sports Network. Hoops on the way later tonight. Imagine the confidence you'd be that Shane has got with those two fantastic conversions. She's staying right in the match. I mean, could be. Changes everything. Could be way behind at this point. Works on a spare bit frame. No help on the nine pin. Looks like she got that shot in just a little bit. Wasn't as clean as the previous shot on that lane. But again, ball stopped exactly where she wanted it to. Goes just a little bit high. Didn't quite get it as far right. Leaves the solid nine. She and Team Singapore are coming over. Direct flight 19 hours, she told us today. From the home city to JFK Airport. I mean, you've flown all over the world. 19 hours, that's a long one. That's a it long one. Right? We asked her today, do you watch a lot of movies? She said, no, I slept the whole time. Slept. Yeah. Slept for 19 hours. And at least you'd land well-rested in New York, right? Yeah, it was 22 when I went, and it wasn't oh. direct. Oh. First time on TV. First week in the U.S. for Team Singapore. Mm -hmm. You mentioned teammate, a lefty Sherry Tan, already a winner on tour this year on Island Classic part of the trifecta of events on the island last week. Works on a spare sixth frame, misses the target. This is where you're gonna see the lanes get a little tricky, right? They said it uh, didn't take very long. They didn't have a lot of practice on the TV pair. You know, it's it's paced where we don't wanna burn up the lanes uh, too much. So we've changed a little bit of the practice. But right here, you can see that ball was a little bit more inside, but that's that middle part of the lane that was so tricky from lane to lane, not just pair to pair. You had to have steeper angles, but make sure the ball read that middle part of the lane. Unusual 2-5 leave. But for Shane, that should be a piece of cake with her conversions <laughs> we've seen so far tonight. Fantastic spare shooter. All bowlers unanimous today in our meetings with them how important it would be to cover spares, no matter how difficult. Underway, match one. U.S. Women's Open from South Glens Falls, New York. Right here in upstate, Glens Falls. Not far from here in South Glens Falls, New York. U.S. Women's Open underway on CBS Sports Network. Here tonight, match number one, McCarthy and Ung head-to-head. -head. Two great spares, CDB for Shana. Just fantastic to watch. First, the washout. 
gets to the left side of the hen pin, perfect. Same thing, left side, slides it right over like it had eyes. Mm. Those are huge because Aaron has been clean on these very tough lane conditions tonight. She misses both. She might be out of this match. Instead, it's neck and neck. Out of the break. Howard McCarthy is fine. Looking for help. Nine pin. Come on. Great shot by Aaron, especially coming out of that commercial break. One of the other factors that the ladies were talking to me about last night was ball speed. So when that ball was going too long to the middle part of the lane, instead of moving, they slowed up their ball speed to get the ball to read. And it looks like she did that on that shot. Great shot. Almost taps out the nine. No problem has that single pin spare conversion. Double in the tenth during match play here last night. That's what she needed to knock off. Another star from Team Singapore, Sherry Tan to make her third appearance on the U.S. Open TV show. Talked about the pair of third place finishes so far. Maybe that changes tonight. Aaron told us today that double to make the show was one of the highlights of her career. Pressure, clutch. Came through left lane here for her. Almost crosses over a Brooklyn strike and 76, nine, 10 stand. Yeah, she didn't like that one when she let it go. I can see uh, in her setup, she seems to be holding the ball just a little bit lower. Definitely did not get this ball to the right. You can see, definitely, and I, I, I'm looking too, because we do this when we don't have the tracers. We have the little dark board down there. It was to the left of it instead of to the right of it. Every time she's gotten it to the right, it's been a better shot. Watch out, and an open frame. Tough time, 6 10 stand. Game changer. Just like that, Shane Hart. On the bench is up by nine pins. Well, Aaron said the double in the tenth was the most nerve wracking moment of her career. This was last night. She faces another major challenge in the opening match here tonight. Hung works on a spare seventh frame, ringing 10 pin. Really nice shot. Fantastic shot by Shane, and I always like watching the shots, especially when they've been sitting a while. But right here, look at, she drops it so smooth and it comes right through, lofting it out just a little bit, but much cleaner out of her hands underneath it, just a little bit more, and right here, that smooth motion. Now, as they were trying to get their ball to stop, they, they said last night, you know, we left a lot of ring tens, and, but again, the key was sparable. Got that. <laughs> Just the double yeah. 10 pin, which with the other amazing splits and conversions he's had tonight would seemingly be easy. But you're right, that's the sparable shot. And filling frames with spare, staying clean is the biggest key. This is a, a grind it out, really tough slugfest type condition. The U.S. Open is always one of the toughest events of the year. And if you watch the scores from round to round, and then of course in match play, you're going to see, you're going to see that the scorers go up and down. Works out spare. And the 6'10 stand uh. on the left lane. One strike for Shane on so far in the match. Shane went back to the ball she originally started with. Saw Matt McNeil go over and talk to her during the break. This left lane, lane seems to be the lane that's switching up the match just a little bit. Second appearance U.S. Open show for Shayna. She finished third in 2016. As we talked about, seeking her first major tonight. Has the six pin, has her mark. And now it's about staying clean this late in the match, but does six pins separate these two? Long time member of Team Singapore, amazing accolades. Shana, two-time Singapore Sportswoman of the Year. Shannon O'Keefe is back on TV again. What a season for the points leader on the women's tour, which at this point puts Shannon in the lead for Player of the Year for a third time. McCarthy, big strike right lane. Needed that badly. 
And McCarthy enjoyed the taste of winning once in her PWBA career, throwing seven consecutive strikes. To defeat Maria Jose Rodriguez in the final of the event held at Fern Valley Strike and Spare. Great memory for her. She said to us today, that was amazing. Winning the Louisville Open in 2018. This would be the highlight by far of her bowling career. It is so coveted. The green jacket, the huge prize fund. It's the largest on tour this year. 60,000 of the winner. In another close match. One. Foundation frames. Got all pinned down. Definitely trusted that one. Actually looked like she moved a little bit deeper. Right here crossing at the arrows about 13, 14. Can it be a double? Comes in. Here's <laughs> <laughs> our first Amazing. double match for either. These are incredibly tough conditions. She's been outstanding in close matches. Ninth frame. Shayna Ung for the response. Got it. If you notice on this right lane, both Shayna and Erin were a little bit more direct, a little more ball speed. Now, what I was hearing, if you're going to watch this right here, we're going to get into about 16, 17, not getting it right up about 10 high flush but they were saying they felt like the right lanes were tighter and developed a little more hold quicker than the left lane but again you could go to the next pair and it could be the direct opposite it's been that tough long challenging grueling grind to get this far <laughs> ten frame. looking for the lead leaves a 10 pin instead First match is going to go right down to the wire. Another good shot. And again, you had to decide off of these shots right here where this is a little bit of that flat 10. Do I just want to slow up the ball just a little bit, which was the safer thing to do? Because everyone was saying, once you came around the ball just a little bit, it overreacted down lane. Oh, my goodness. It didn't fall. Shocking miss in the 10th. Disastrous error for Shayna Ung. Trying to fill out the 10th frame. And now Aaron McCarthy on the bench sees an incredible break. And you very rarely see that because the Singapore team is very, very disciplined. They practice, they live together, they travel together. Um, very unfortunate, good for Aaron and for Shayna. Nine pins, that's all she needs now. For the win. Got ten, got the victory in match number one. And there McCarthy will advance to take on Shannon O'Keefe. After the incredible conversions earlier in the match from Shannon Ung before the commercial break of two fantastic spares. The single pin spare conversion does her in the 10th frame. Amazing. And like we see on so many weeks, Erin will be trying a different ball to see what type of look she has. She moved a little bit deeper. Got that one further right. Kicks back to 10. Looks great. The emergency and ICU nurse in Omaha, Nebraska. Also, as we can see, a fantastic bowler. Quite a career for Erin McCarthy. And she is through to the next round to take on Shannon O'Keefe. Who bids for a second title in 2022? What a match. What conversions of splits from Shayna Ung. But in the end, a miss 10 pin and McCarthy advances. Mary McCarthy defeats Shayna Ung, 212 178. To advance up the stepladder, Shannon O'Keefe is next, the three seed. The key to a good fitting bowling ball can be as simple as adding tape, as Wendy Bartier Jimenez shows us in this week's. BCTV Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Wendy Barthier Jimenez. I am from France, the Suisse Française. And today I'm going to talk about something that I think is really important and that most people forget about. It's the grip. I'm going to show you one shot 
when I don't have enough tapes in, like now, I'm going really easy in and I don't have like a good grip. So I'm gonna show you one shot like this and one shot with nice tapes. So now I'm gonna put some tapes in my bow. when I put my tapes in my thumb, I put a big one, a smallest one, and a smaller, smaller one. Because if I put too big, it's going to be too tight. So this is a, another tip that I can give you. If, it, if you put like two big ones and it's like too tight, you just need to cut them. so much. Canada Keep is the three seed. She's won this year already on tour, but one thing she hasn't done in her great future Hall of Fame career is win the U.S. Women's Open. Maybe that changes tonight. In New York State, McCarthy O'Keefe is next. Pure Mountain Air, one of the cleanest, clearest lakes in North America. Lake George, New York, not far from here in South Glens Falls. And the U.S. Women's Open, match one. Shana Hung, a Miss 10 pin in the 10th frame. And falls to Anna McCarthy, 212, 178. Chandler O'Keefe and McCarthy, three seed versus the five seed next. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our number three seed from Shiloh, Illinois, Shannon O'Keefe. Future Hall of Famer has 15 titles, three majors, but not a U.S. Women's Open yet. 2018 USBC Queens in Rito, 2019 Tour Championship in Richmond. Two-time Player of the Year, brilliant career. As always, the McKendry Bearcat Colors, head coach of the women's team, won the national championship this year and leads the 10 pin. Shannon obviously no stranger to the TV lights comes out full force It's amazing back on TV again. all the different conditions the challenging formats like the US Women's Open Last week Long Island totally different scenario set up lane conditions back on TV again. Cross the lane got enough of that for the 10 pin and the player rolls the winner game during tonight's telecast. We'll receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. Visit GoBowling.com to find local bowling centers, get tips from the pros, and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. Going to be tough for the CDB on these conditions, to say the least. McCarthy, good start. Another, another great come out shot by Aaron after sitting for a little bit. Right here's moved just a little bit deeper, hitting 19 at the arrows, getting it. That is our spot about that 9 10. I know for quite some time the ladies were saying I was almost using 10 down lane as my gutter. And speaking with her ball rep, Nathan, she's still trying to be very rolly, very up the back of it, wants her ball to stop before the pins so that it, she can control the pocket went back to the ball she was using last match. Great start. Match two for Aaron. We told her today she's going to relax. She's going to take her time and not rush. She feels like in prior TV shows, she's rushed herself in big moments and missed shots and missed the pocket. Getting her ball into the swing, holding it a little lower so that she can slow down her ball speed just a little bit. And that ball's reading perfectly. Two seed last week for Shannon on Long Island. But lost to Brown and Cote. Four seed ran the table. Back on TV again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ashley Pocket, 60 feet to success for Shannon O'Keefe. Shannon, four steps, get her ball, gets her ball into the swing. Quick wins that step, but look at this leverage right here. Love it. The knee bend, the chin over the knee. She's a traditional style, but has such leverage and power getting into the line. And honestly, with that hip injury, she still looks perfect. I mean, she really does. Third frame. Yes. Wow, great start. Bowlers looking really good here in match two. Shannon for months has been bothered by upper left hip injury. She says at times she's at 40%. It's so painful, but she's going to just have to keep grinding through it to the end of the season. And watching that shot, too, uh, both ball reps for both uh, companies have said the lanes are changing very quickly. The ladies have already made the move to the left. And again, will generate their ball speed, whether it may need it harder or softed, softer, to do what the ball needs to do on the lane. Eight strikes total. Aaron, all right, continues the great start here in match number two. So a great finish to match one with four of the last five frames of strikes. Erin here getting the ball into the swing a little bit earlier than she naturally does. But look at this right here. I love this. This is all power and leverage. Look at that left arm out in front of her, a little bit higher than normal. But watch how the ball comes down, just smooth, uses all of her legs. And again, taking her hand out of it, which, you know, Erin likes to get around the ball, but she has become much more versatile. Over strike. Cross it over. She'll take it. Sometimes you're a little lucky. Next stop, Brownsburg. Gets just a little bit quick. You could see that right there. Her foot, she stuttered just a little bit. Ball went back a little bit quicker. Misses a left. And again, that is not what she's trying to play. She is not trying to play the hold. She's trying to get her ball to the right, but gets a break and gets to Brooklyn. Or as people in Brooklyn would say, the jersey. All right, so Shannon, right lane, trying to respond. Ah. And good ah. shot, bringing 10 points. Controlling the pocket like Shannon always does. Executing. Looks great coming in. Just wraps around that 10 pin. Now, the other thing is, too, Shannon does both right gets up the back of it gets on the side of it a little bit she is a little more on the side of it so that ball doesn't read too early but still has a great shot to the pocket can't afford to miss the way Aaron's going at least the first few frames of match number two be sure to log on all the PWBA on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and on Bowl TV to keep up with the greatest women bowlers in the world. And the latest video highlights the news each week to follow your favorites like the le legend Liz Johnson, who multiple times has won this U.S. Open. Not the case for Shannon yet. Maybe that changes here tonight. Plenty of TV experience. Championship round somehow. The 10 pin defies the laws of physics and gravity and does not fall. Man, another great shot. Moved in a little deeper using that 12 as her gutter down lane. Ball just deflects off a little bit, wraps around that 10, but boy, it wobbles. And again, she's using the same ball on both lanes, but again, stronger ball little bit less surface so you don't have to fr uh, fight that front part of the lane you know with such a low volume of oil national coach of the year conference coach of the year several times multinational champion mckendry bearcat team that's one of her many jobs <laughs> and oh by the way she's got a huge lead for player of the year again on the points list Seven events on tour, seven different winners.
McCarthy looks for the front five. Trying to stay perfect. No Brooklyn strike this time. Six pin. Gets a little bit quick. And you could see right off her hand, that was way left of where she was getting that ball in the front part of the lane. But again, gets the break and leaves a six pin. And this is what you were looking for in your matches last night. The breaks on the bad shot, you were hoping you didn't pay full penalty. Control the pocket. Get a few breaks. That's what Brianna Cote said last week when she won on Long Island. And you get the feeling it's happening early with Aaron McCarthy here in match number two. Season as we talked about, seven events in, seven different winners. Maybe if Shannon wins, she'll be the sec first multi-tour winner of the year. And lots of traveling. Carol, you know, as well as anyone, it's not an easy season to get through emotionally, physically for these great bowlers. Right, absolutely. I mean, look at this, 1,500 miles, 1,100 miles. I mean, and you have to travel with your bowling balls and you're traveling with someone. There's a lot of factors that go into it. Six frame works on a spare. Touch high and he's 6 9 10. Stand for Aaron. She got that ball out on the lane a little bit more, got around it just a little too soon. And you can see she missed left. Once she starts doing that, she's almost, it's almost like you're, she's helping the ball. And one of the keys this week, and it was from, it didn't matter how you threw the ball, was you wanted to be as clean as possible out of it, keep your hand underneath it, get that thumb out, roll it off the palm so that you get your ball as, to, to roll as much forward as possible. Covers nicely. Midway point, CDB, match two, great ball in here. Fun to watch, McCarthy by 18 pins, trying to beat Shannon O'Keefe and climb the step ladder in South Flint's Falls. O'Keefe McCarthy, midway through match two, U.S. Women's Open here in South Flint's Falls, New York. 2018 PWBA Rookie of the Year, Jordan Richard joins us now. Jordan, you said to us, today in our interview, first time in your career you've been a two seed on a TV show. How will you approach the lanes here tonight? I'm going to approach it just as I have all week. Got to make good shots in practice to see what I need to do and then make my moves on whatever the lane tells me. And we also spoke, spoke about how your mental strategy would be, and you said you were going to be much more open-minded. So did you think about this afternoon, or have you decided that watching everyone else? Um, we're kind of just going to stick to what I'm going to do um, based off practice, and then if I have to be open-minded and make moves quicker, then I will. Jordan, thanks for your time. Thank see you. you. Next match. Wants that green jacket, want the trophy and the big prize fund. Two seed, two time to a champion. Back to match two. Down by 18. Sixth for O'Keefe, works on a square. Two strikes for Shannon so far in the match. Out of the commercial break. Now does she respond with a four pin? Shannon has thrown six great shots. She's using a, a, <clears throat> a ball that reads the middle part of the lane on its own, clean, but look at that. Smooth off the end of the pattern, doesn't have to get the ball way right. She's doing the right thing. It's one of those things where you want to make the slight adjustments, not the big ones, because you are controlling the pocket. Corbin got that, no problem. Let's flash back. Tile number 15 this year for Shannon. Saw it on CBS Sports Network earlier this swing. Cedarville Lanes, Egan, Minnesota, the Twin Cities. Find the ladder for the five seed to take home the title against Missy Parkin for career championship number 15. She told us last week on Long Island she's warming up. And but came over the PA system. 14-time title of Shannon O'Keefe. She's looking around like, what? Do I <laughs> really? 14, well, became 15 that week. And she knocked off Aaron in match play. Quite a career for the head coach. On, Keith. But a tough split here. Four, six, seven. 
I don't think she liked that shot. You could hear her talking right here. She got around that one just a little more and missed left and paid the ultimate price. Yep, she did. You could hear her say something. I think it was, oh my God, or that's what I would have said. Six stands, open frame. And that's devastating with that. The lead balloon by 11 pins on the bench for McCarthy. 33 pin lead now. Seventh frame, six ten. We talked about full time job at Omaha, Nebraska. We're just seeing ICU nurse. Let's take a look at the shot, CDB. Right here, that ball picked up. Let me tell you, that did not look like a bad shot, but that ball picked up much earlier. According to what I'm being told, the left lane hooks a little bit earlier, but this right lane at this point might be catching up. They they transitioned fast, and the lady who made the quickest moves usually won the match. Cross lane, 6'10", got that, and takes care of business. Coming up next, join WNBA legend Lisa Leslie as she talks shop with reigning NCAA Women's Tournament Championship coach, South Carolina's Dawn Staley. Don't miss an all-new We Need to Talk right here on CBS Sports Network. Now, Aaron, the very challenging nursing job in Omaha, she said to us today, sometimes the chaos of working the ER calms her. And that, in turn, helps her stay calm in moments like this. Eighth frame, trying to knock off Shannon O'Keefe. Four pin. Definitely increased her ball speed on that shot. Pitched it just a little bit, got a break, leaving the four pin still a little bit sharp. On the back end right here, you could see she got this one out on the lane much more. Used a little more of her upper body, still up the back of it. But look at where that ball was picking up, where before it was actually sailing through that spot. Again, it'll be time for another move to the left or increase the ball speed even more. But you got to make sure you're not going to hit up on it, kind of like Shayna. I don't want to hit up on it. I want to be smooth. Great throw, Keith. The time is now. No room for error. Two-time player of the year. I asked her about that today with her massive lead in points entering this event. She said, I don't even look at it. Don't even check the stats. Staying focused on day-to-day. -day. Needs a lot of strikes starting right now and gets it on the right lane. Great comeback shot by Shannon. One of the things she has truly been keying on is her tempo. She needs to keep her middle two steps slow. Don't, don't allow them to get quick. And once her tempo is in that smooth motion, everything just clicks. The ball gets to the top and it drops. When they get just a little bit too quick, it's when she lags and pulls down. Needs this left lane. Oh. Gets it. Making things interesting. Cuts it at 20 pins. Another good shot. Oh, so smooth getting to the line. Those were two of her best shots to get herself back in this match. And again, off of this light hit, blowing out that four, five, seven. Do not move. Stay there and execute. Foundation frame for McCarthy. Big shot. Seven pin. During the break, Erin came over speaking to her ball rep, Nathan Bohr. I know he said as she continues to move left to make her adjustments, she will up her ball speed because that's what she naturally wants to do and likes to do. Right there, good shot. Blower seven pin. 
still in the lead. Two years at Nebraska. That's a Midland. She graduated from an accelerated nursing program. That's what she needs. There are times she's been so limited because of her full-time job as a nurse. Maybe two, three times a week, 20 minutes, 30 minutes of practice. That's it. Amazing that she's in this position so dedicated to her full-time job that she's on the verge of a win here. Match two. Left lane, comes in high, 6'10". There's always been one lane, and it seems like this left lane, according to what I'm being told, is breaking down even quicker than the right lane. So the moves have to be bigger and quicker. And that means moving e even deeper, because last night when you were watching, as they were going pair to pair, some of the girls, they were into 25, 30, trying to get their ball steep and down the lane. Gee, Dave, we could have a tie. You said that last <laughs> week, too. We came close on Long Island. Don't we say that every week? It's, it's the most exciting thing. And you know what? I like when they go down the 10th frame, as long as it's not me. <laughs> as long as it's them, I think it's great. You're okay being a broadcaster great TV. this moment. Absolutely. Oh, no doubt. Shan's going to have a chance. Great shot. Much more aggressive on that shot, smoother off her hand, and you could see the angle of the ball. Right here, much smoother off her hand than that first shot. More end over end, and look at that. Just stops in the right spot. Two strikes and eight for O'Keefe. The first one. Yes! There's the first one. There's some former McHenry Bearcats and current Earl Bramley back there watching. What a shot. Fantastic shot. Aggressive. And she knew it when she let it go. Gotta have it. Strike eight. No strike here. McCarthy wins. Needs this strike. Wants it a hook. It does. Just enough to find the one three pocket and knock down all ten. Now eight pins for the victory. Seven for a tie. Gets this one a little right of where she was playing. Didn't quite catch that one as much as she did the first one, but gets the break on the light hit. Eight for the win. Oh, oh my God. Toss it, get it, Jeez. and lose. Wow. I'm not, not going to say anything on that. That's just not, that's just not Shannon. Lanes aren't, well, lanes aren't that easy, but that's not Shannon O'Keefe. She a little excited, but she knows how to calm herself down. That's just, she needs to let that go. It was a big shot. Eight pins is not easy on this condition. Gets it left of her target, right off her hand. She probably knew it. As you can see, it picked up way sooner. That only gets five, and McCarthy on the bench thinking, had to think that it was over. She'd lose to the two-time player of the year. Instead, McCarthy advances on the five pins from O'Keefe when she needed eight for the win. Amazing turn of events, and Aaron McCarthy takes on Jordan Richard next from here in New York State. A shocker, a two-pin win. Aaron McCarthy over Shannon O'Keefe.
the three seed here in South Glens Falls tonight. 220-218 to advance at the step ladder. Jordan Richard is next. CDB, let's check out some of the other great bowlers here, some other finishers outside the top five in the TV show. Sherry Tan, last week's winner, finishing sixth by Erin doubling in the tenth. Rocio, nice to see her back. Dasha, Missy, Stephanie Johnson, always a contender. Hope Gramley coming in 14th, one of our college stars. Shannon Sellens, another New York, not native, but she is now. Josie Barnes, last year's winner. Daphne Tan and New Way Fenn, both making the top 24, as well as Diana, Clara, and Kerry Smith. Diana Zavialova on the show last week. Rockville Center, Long Island. Jordan Richard will take on Aaron McCarthy next. Fantastic bowling continues here on CBS Sports Network. It's the 2022 U.S. Women's Open. All right, TV, time for the BPAA moment of the match. And yes, Shannon O'Keefe needs eight for the win over Aaron McCarthy and somehow only gets five in the 10th. An absolute shocking finish to match number two. Speaking of the BPA, Executive Director Frank DeSocio is here. Great to see Frank, as always, on hand. Watch the 2022 U.S. Women's Open. McCarthy is through with another win. Unlikely scenario. But you've been there before. You take advantage, right? You Absol move on. Absolutely. And is that a McCarthy world? Eight is not a give me on this. This mm. is. Th these are tough. They're breaking down fast. We have a ball change for Aaron McCarthy. Oh ball that's goodness. a little bit cleaner. Did like it. That's why. Wow. Way across the head pin and a three nine up. Starting your match with Jordan Richard. Just gets a little quick, and you could see. Definitely got ahead of herself, fell right off her hand. You could see her looking at her hand. Let me tell you, she's, she's gotten some breaks, right? You got on your bad shots, you hope you leave something sparable. I mean, not a traditional spare, but it's sparable. Wow. Oh, my goodness. And she whiffs by a lot. Wow is right. That is a shocking open. And Jordan Richard has some confidence to begin her match. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our number two seed from Mommy, Ohio, Jordan Richard. Just outside Toledo, Mommy, Ohio, originally from Tecumseh, Michigan, which is near Ann Arbor. Great young star on the PWBA Tour, former Rookie of the Year in 2018. Two titles in her career so far. That's how you start. So Aaron inexplicably whiffs on the 3-9 by a wide margin. And Jordan steps up and knocks them all down. I love Jordan's game. Look at this. Gets the ball into the swing nice. Look at this. But now here's the difference. Look how high her backswing is, but not as much knee bend, but yet still in line with what she wants to do. And on her good shots, this look at that as she comes through and creates the leverage you need. She has a lot of ball speed. She used that to her advantage where she didn't have to be so steep into the lane. And it seems like this is what she's starting to do this match. So the match play record for Jordan. That comes in high, 6'10 up. You just heard from Carolyn Doran Ballard, 20 time PRVA champion, three majors. Hall and, of Famer. And everybody is telling me this left lane is the trouble lane. Right here, you could see she's deeper, but does not get the ball to the right. So again, they've got to get that ball to the right, whether they choose with ball speed to get it right quicker or move even deeper and create more angle. 6-10, got that. Second show of the year. So St. Pete, Florida for Jordan by 12 pins. All right, so let's see how Aaron responds from that open. Unlikeliest of finishes against Shannon 
in match two. Right lane. High. Ten pin. Two shots that just didn't look as aggressive as the last match. Does not get that ball to the right, and it actually hooks up so much earlier. It is a cleaner ball. She may just have need to move a little bit deeper. That's what she did on, on this pattern the past few days. foot oil pattern, the fourth used during this long, incredibly challenging U.S. Open format. Ball changer for Aaron. Aaron went to her bag, changing balls. Also, Jordan had Aaron start the match. So Aaron will be ending on the right lane. Jordan will be ending on the left lane. Again, it seems as if that left lane is the one everybody keeps talking about, but I don't think either lane is that easy. Better effort left lane there for Aaron. Incredibly challenging conditions. Much cleaner shot right here. Uses everything she got definitely deeper, crossing about 21 at the arrows. And that ball, the motion she was looking for, that's the motion she had in that first game where it was just nice and smooth off the pattern. She can roll it off her hand and increase her ball speed the more she moves left. Right lane for Jordan. Really good shot. All 10 down. 212.75 average. 56 games for her. Second behind Danielle McEwen's 212.82. Gets this ball way right early. Look at this. Way down lane. Wow. We were getting it about to about here earlier. Gets that one way, way right. Tickles the pins just like Shannon did on that light hit. And I'm telling you, keep doing that. Because Elaine will eventually come to you. Keep doing that. The light hits were just as good yesterday. Fourth at St. Pete Clearwater for the 26-year-old. Four, six, seven. That's a tough break in the left lane. And really pays a price in the top split. This, I, I, again, I don't think either lane is easy, but this left lane, according to the ball reps and the ladies that have come off the pair, has been just a little bit more tricky where the right lane has been a little more forgiving to the right. Was that slow? Oh, That's I why I, I when they so come on the pair, I always say, are they watching? Because I want to pick the lane that I've got the closest chance of striking on. She's talking to her ball right now, Sean Ryan. But they were whispering. New life for Aaron, who had the open to begin this match and then gets a trip 10 pin on the right lane. So her fortune's dramatically changing here for as tough a start as you can imagine. This ball change, she's allowed to move a little bit deeper. The ball's a little bit cleaner, but smoother than the other ball she had started with. Well, she told us today, when we asked her, what's it going to take to win? And climb the ladder. Got by Jordan Richard. By 12 pins in match play earlier this week. She said a lot of patience. Stay in the moment. Patience has not been something she's been able to rely upon in the past on TV. Maybe tonight will be different. Left lane for McCarthy. That's high and, oh my goodness, another tough split. The 6 7 this time on these challenging conditions. Well, this is what we saw, especially during match play. High flush, high flush, 
You miss just a little bit, and the ball hooks up just a little earlier. And again, pays the full pen penalty, leaves the 6-7. But again, I'm reminding everyone who's listening, 18 milliliters of oil just is not a lot of oil. Oh, oh, yeah. got him. How about that one? 6-7 conversion, another fantastic split spare conversion we've seen tonight. Shana Ung had a couple earlier on our show. Right here, hits to the right of the six pin, and there you go. Picture perfect. That was really big. Back to Jordan, fifth frame. Liked it. He's a 10 pin. I'm telling you, I like this right lane. If I had to pick, if I were going to bowl, I would probably be ending on the right lane over the left lane. Again, she got that ball to the right, but you can see it's so much smoother off the pattern. The left lane seems less forgiving. Jordan, five time member of Team USA. 2018 to 2022. Also, Junior Team USA member. Great job. Representing our country internationally. Cross lane has the 10 pin. Leaders by round here. CDB is an incredibly challenging event. Sherry Tan, you mentioned it, one of the Long Island Classic, one of the three events last week in Rockville Center. And Jordan Richard right there. Danielle went around her late in match play last night. Needing that double in the 10th to take over the lead. Ball change here for Jordan. Jordan told us today she was very disappointed. <laughs> she wasn't a top seed, but here she is. Let's see if that pays off. Does indeed. Left lane, great shot. Ball change. Well timed. All smiles for Jordan Richard, the two seed. In an outstanding match with Aaron McCarthy. Here in South Glens Falls, New York. U.S. Women's Open rolls on here on CBS Sports Network. People like George, not far from South Glens Falls, New York. Currently an eight pin lead on Jordan Richard, match number three, step ladder bowling, U.S. Women's Open, a moment ago. Jordan speaking with tour rep Sean Ryan. I really I'm think both. it's a coin flip, yeah. I really think it's a coin flip if you want to do another right leg. And I want to fan, that's how fast that one got forward. So, the green one? Yeah, in my gut, I want to go X2 on both. Okay. Because I thought that one, that flat time was really good. I know, I did too. Good. I know. So okay. they hit friction and went forward. Okay. Where once that happens, the next fucking part is it's gonna hit friction and go left. Right. So do I move so I move, I move two on this end. Okay. So I went to 31. So I like when Sean did say to her, it is your call, because bottom line is you can feed them information and give them options, but she will make the decision before she gets on the approach. I do like the option. Yes, I do think her other ball did go forward a little bit, but again. They've been moving left of the friction and increasing their ball speed the further left they got. But honestly, why do you want to manipulate? I would probably make the ball change on both. It's cleaner, going to read the mid, hopefully give her some hold. Out of the break. Okay. Works on a spare, wants that to hook. Not quite enough in the one free pocket. Leaves the two pin in the right lane. I think Aaron is making the right moves, changing to a ball that's a little bit longer and smoother. I love it. She did that for the past two days. And again, on your mistake shots, if you can leave something that's sparable, like a two pin, it's not so bad. Two pin. Those kind of conditions, it's the not so bad shot, right? It is. <laughs> it's survival mode out here. What's but what's, what's the thing, what's, what's happening is, because the ladies were trying to take their hand out of it and create more forward roll where they wanted it to read and lay, now add friction into that, it's reading even sooner and stopping too quick. So that's why they continue to move left, increase their ball speed. They may have to even get steeper the deeper they get. Great breakdown.
Seven frame, perfect shot. Crunches the one three pocket. Those pins have no chance whatsoever against Aaron McCarthy. So tonight in the capital region of New York State, ABC Gates Bowl, Rochester next year. And Indy and Lincoln, Nebraska, Sunday Lanes and Games. Just outside downtown. Great traditional bowling site for the men's and women's tours in Lincoln, Nebraska. Jordan opted to make the ball change also on the right lane. I, I like the shot. I, I, look, I know she left the 2-7. Everybody who's watching is going to say, yeah, but she left the 2-7. Yeah, but it's not a big four. And that's what they're looking for. Much cleaner, but gets it way right. Again, remember, the light hits on this lane. Remember, Shannon had the light hit. Erin had the light hit. She, her last shot on this lane was a light hit. So I think just a small move there, and she's in good shape. I usually lead for the right-hander, the 2-7 baby split, but on the right lane takes care of business. So I mean, we're seeing some odd-looking spares and leaves here. And the former Rookie of the Year now lives in the suburban Toledo, Ohio area. A great career both at Central Missouri and Arkansas State. D2, D3 player of the year at Central Missouri. Two-time Division I player of the year at Arkansas State. All-American. Go. Well, that ball going does. Finds the one-three pocket perfectly. Uh, we mentioned Daniel McEwen. Had three 7 10 splits championship match with Brianna Cote last week on Long Island. Our Bowl TV highlight of the week. Three 7 10 conversion CDB made this week. First, Josie Barnes, the champion from last year at the U.S. Open in Roner Park, California. A new Wave fan accomplished the feat as well. That was on Sunday. And then Dasha Kovalova. Couldn't believe it herself when she converted. The 7 10 yesterday. Oh, I turned away from it. Wait a minute, I made it. She made it. Never been done on TV on the PWBA tour. We've seen some challenging leaves. Not the 7 10 yet. And there's a McCarthy throw. I don't think anybody wants to be shooting at no. the 7 10, um, especially Danielle McEwen, who will be coming up in her next match. But Erin um, made the move on this right lane, looked much more confident. It's been done four times on the men's tours. Yeah. I would love the chance. I, I get it. Lo I get love it. the chance to call it. Just saying. Just saying. And through all of these matches so far, Erin has definitely stayed to taking her time, being patient with her shot, not rushing through it. Foundation frame, big shot. Looks for 27. Pin lead and got it. On the left lane, huge shot late in the match for McCarthy. Determination on this shot. You could see much smoother with her footwork as well. Angles look great. Again, just going to a cleaner ball, moving left, increasing that ball speed, and now she's got her rhythm back. Best finish in a major for Aaron so far. Runner up 2015 USBC Queens. Foundation frame for Jordan. Cut into the lead. Does so with a trip to seven lead. Big shot to make it a 17 pin match. So again, I feel like this right lane is a little bit more forgiving to the right. I think the left lane is starting to build up some hold the deeper they get. Right here, you're going to see Jordan. She went over to talk to Sean. Comes in light, blows the rack. One thing she was focusing on is making sure when she got her ball into her push and it was smooth and that she would stay down and not use her upper body. And that was one thing she was talking to him about right here between that commercial break. And that was a great shot. Top seed, Danielle McEwen awaits the winner. To the 10th, to cut to seven. Seven pin down late again. And we've got a fantastic finish row here in match number three. That ball change was the right thing to do. As you can see, they're not getting that ball as far right on the left lane.
but light hit blows that five into the seven and she'll take it. See the max scores. Ten frame, big shot. No help this time though, six ten. That shot looked a little bit quicker. The first two steps, just a little bit quicker. Got that ball into the lane a little. See those first two steps? A little quick. Got into lane a little sooner. Picked up just enough to go through the nose. But I think she made a great ball change and made shots when she really needed them to put herself into position to win this game. Now to the bench and wait to the 206. Just a mark for the win. For McCarthy to advance to the championship match to take on Danielle McEwen. A strike for the win for Aaron right lane. Looking for help, has got it with a 10 pin. It goes down late, it's a winner. Blair McCarthy, she's gonna move on to the title match. Got that one in just a little bit, but gets the break. Right here, you're gonna see she is deeper, but doesn't get that ball as far right down the lane. Gets in a little high, but trips out the 4-10. Oh, she liked it. up in the right lane and she advances to take on Danielle McEwen Jordan Richard the two seed her wait since 2019 when she won in the PWA Lincoln Open will continue trying for another title she bowled well but not well enough McCarthy trying to climb the ladder has another win the top seed McEwen is next Great scenery, New York State, Capital Region, not far from Albany here in South Glens Falls, New York. Step ladder bracket tonight, Aaron McCarthy, the five seed, has climbed the ladder. Shana Ung, trouble in the 10th frame with a missed 10 pin. Shannon O'Keefe fell apart in the 10th frame, needing eight, only got five pins. And then McCarthy impressive in a win over Jordan Richard, the two seed in match number three. Danielle McEwen, the top seed. Number one seed step ladder bracket for a second straight week. This time, U.S. Open is at stake, trying for a second open title. And the Covenant Green Jacket title match is next. We mentioned earlier that three, seven, ten split conversions were made this week, last week in the championship match. Danielle McEwen left three, seven, ten splits of her own in the fifth, the eighth, and again in the ninth frame. Horrible breaks for Danielle. Got her over the brakes, a little cuddle time. Well, with her dog. This is the last one. Never seen it back to back. Seven tens. Never seen three in one match on TV in my career. <laughs> I've done a lot of bowling. You've been around a lot. And sometimes you just need Jasper to help you through those tough moments. Am I right? He well, is cuddle a time with a pooch. Fuzz, fuzzy little fella. <laughs> Uh, if she can't see it, I think so. We have a gold noodle at home. Um, that's a, a mix as well. And then as Danielle is throwing her practice shots. Guess what? Exactly. 7-10. You got to think that might enter her. Nope. She's going to get it out of her way. She got it out of her way early. happened last week? Time for the championship match here at South Lines Ball. McCarthy McEwen, the coveted green jacket, $60,000 top prize fund on the women's tour this year at stake. Average for Aaron through three.
Title tilt underway. Some loft, left lane. Good start. Good champion. Great come, come out shot, of course, but Erin, and again, I bring this up every week, right? So she's starting on the left lane, which means she's going to allow Erin on the right lane to finish. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our number one seat from Sony Point, New York, Danielle McEwen. Here she is. Top seed, second straight week. Don't forget the struggles and the challenge of last week. New night, new show. U.S. Women's Open on the line. Yeah. And a great start in the right lane. Danielle as well coming out very strong. She is very confident right now with her game. She says physically she feels fantastic, but when she feels a little off, she's got a couple of triggers. You heard her say that. Here's her game. Gets her ball into the swing a little bit later, but allows her swing to just drop naturally with no grab. She is so clean out of it and naturally rolls that ball right off her hand. Left lane, coming in high. 3 9 10. Tough leave here. On the second frame of the match. She looked like she got around that ball just a little bit, missing left. Right here, you can see that was way left of her target. I don't think that ball got right of 15. These are the 3 9 10. 2019 U.S. Women's Open champ. In Vegas, she was a two seed then, top seed here tonight. Got it. Yeah. Big conversion for Danielle McEwen. Definitely not an easy spare. You're going to use your strike ball to make it because you got the sleeper. Does not overhook at it, actually throws it rather flat and gets that back pin out just the way you're supposed to. We're looking for her 21st strike of the night. And late help in the 10th pin, down it goes. Many player rules of clear games are in tonight's telecast. We'll receive a $10,000 bonus courtesy of GoBowling.com. Visit GoBowling.com to find Local bowling centers get tips from the pros and for all the latest news and information about your favorite sport, bowling. No 300 games yet in the U.S. Open. That's because the four different oil patterns are so incredibly challenging. Definitely not the tournament you would pick to say, gosh, I think we're going to see a lot of them. Left lane, got it. Off to a great start in the championship match. When Josie Barnes won $100,000. It was the richest prize in women's bowling history last year in Roanoke Park, California. 60,000 on the line here tonight. McEwen has clinched at least $30,000. It's life-changing money. It is. And she has a wedding that'll be coming up and Danielle's gonna be traveling after the tour is over so they both can use it in different ways. Absolutely. Right lane for McEwen, looking for help, avoids the split. That's good news, four pink stands. Looks like she threw that one just a little bit slower, but again, I think the right lane is much more forgiving. Gets a break, gets the nine out, leaves just the four pin, but missed the left two seat once again. Did not get that ball as far right as she was in her practice shots, but gets a break and only leaves the four pin. Again, angle was so critical, but the, the more the girls moved to the left, you had two choices. You could either increase your ball speed and not have as steep of the steep angles. Again, you see stronger balls or weaker balls with less surface, or go stronger and just continue to up your ball speed and cut down those angles, but take your hand out of it and be be soft with your hand, but keep that ball speed up to keep it in front of you. Impressive win in match play over Aaron earlier this week, but. CDB, as you like to say, this show's a new tournament. Brand new 
the old conditions tonight. Fourth frame for McEwen, works on a spare, missed the target. Two, four, eight, stand for Danielle. Right here, we're looking at shots where that ball has to read that middle part of the lane that we saw earlier today. And right there, it shoots right through it, but that was common. I know when you're watching, you're going, oh, she didn't throw that one better. Oh, she made a bad shot. No, that really did not look like that bad of a shot. But if you're just a little bit too quick and that ball does not read that middle part, don't forget we're using the lane oil that gets down there a little bit further. Very unlike Danielle. Very unlike Danielle to miss a spare. Wow. And that's a tough break. Left lane, four pin stands, and the lead on the bench for McCarthy Balloons at 35 pins. Aaron off to a perfect start here. And this is where, Dave, I, I bring it up. When you make your opponent either start the match or finish, depending on that lane, I think that's been very critical week to week. Saw the early win probability. Looks good for Aaron, but it's early on. And now we got the big four. So, <laughs> game changer again. In the frame. Right here, just a little bit too. That one was too in front of her. Definitely needs that angle. She's had that angle for the last few games when that ball change, reading it just soon enough. A pays full penalty. There goes the perfect game. And the 4 7 stands, open frame, and just like that, 17 pin game. Doug Bohannon is here at the proprietor of Kingpin's Alley Family Fun Center. Great to see Doug and his staff. Hey, Doug, thanks for your great hospitality. Fantastic bowling town here in New York State. And there you go. CDB, the win probability changes just like that. It's down about uh, uh, nine plus I like, percent. <laughs> I like those win percentages. Fifth frame off and open here for McCarthy. Respond nicely to a strike. Right here, we are halfway through this game, Danielle. On the next shot, we'll be halfway through this game. What do we think is actually going through in the minds right now? I have bowled on. Numerous U.S. Open shows right there. She comes back, light hit. With the lanes as tough as they are, it's manage the frames. Do whatever you have to do to manage the frames. Another high hit, another really tough break. Six, seven, ten. It's another split for McEwen. And I'm going to probably send a message down there just to find out. I think she looked a little softer on this shot. Again, right here, ball was way inside of where she was throwing her practice shots. But again, if you're a little bit softer to make sure that ball's going to read, because once it shoots through, now you're forcing it to do something. Can't convert seven pin stand, so it is an open frame. And the bowler's exchange opens here of late. Future for the sport oil pattern. We revisit Ladies, what's going on here at CDB. Sorry about that, Dave. Ladies started playing right here and did not have between that second and third arrow, and their angles were not as steep. As they moved left, their angles got more steep, but like Erin did, went to a ball that was cleaner, smoother off the pattern. Danielle using a ball that's very mid-laning smooth, but she got a ball change on this left lane right now. The kill is trying to respond. That's a light hit and just unable to get into gear here. So the 1 2 4 stands on the left lane, and the struggles just continue here for Danielle on TV. Tough to watch. Converts the spare. That's the good news. The bad news is she's down. 28 pins to Aaron McCarthy Championship match. Halfway home. When we return to Southland Falls, New York, we will determine the champion.
champ took home a hundred thousand dollars richest prize fund women's bowling history mccarthy 28 pin lead here going for the trophy and the green jacket and big prize money moments ago danielle spoke with her tour reps jim callahan and sean ryan and let's uh, just get a double here for the time, and then we'll go from there. That's all you can do. Come on. I think that's why you have to go to the down IQ, though. Because that one didn't try to even slow down at all. Okay. Just don't move. Just yeah. go to that one. Yeah. Okay. Because that one, I mean, we saw it in practice. It's shaped off. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. I think that's what's McCarthy strike out of the break, and your take on the tour rep talk. Right. What you didn't hear was, at one point, Danielle said, paint a picture for me. How far right am I supposed to be getting the ball? Because Sean did make the, the, he mentioned that the ball didn't even get through it. It didn't even slow down when she was throwing the idol. So Jim is telling her, look, let's make the move. Let's decide what we're going to do. Just catch a double. We're still in this. And 10 frames goes by, but again, she needs a picture painted for her because she's just not seeing it. A double for Aaron. 38 pin lead. Looks for the turkey. To go up by 48 pins in the seventh frame. The 10 pin a nudge, but no messenger across the deck to take it down. And right now at this point, another great shot. They are just going to continue to move deeper on this left lane. And again, this is what we saw over the last couple days, by the way, I'm nervous, I'm taking deep breaths, is the ball at times would not get through the pins. I don't think it's anything that the girls are doing. It's just, again, the breakdown is so fast, they're getting so deep, and they're just trying to manage the pocket, leave something sparable. Cross lane, single pin, spare conversion, has the 10 pin, no problem there for the fifth seed from Elkhorn, Nebraska. Aaron McCarthy outside Omaha. Full-time nurse. But tonight, not just that, an outstanding bowler on the verge of a championship and a major. Danielle's won this event before. Much better shot by Danielle. Again, just going to move deeper. She's going to be aggressive. I don't think the slower ball speed is the way to go right now. We need to get that ball through the front and middle part of the lane and get it to up that perfect spot right there. I'm going to draw a line on the next shot when we get it from that back view. The spot has actually moved up a little bit as they get deeper. Fourth championship round appearance of the year for Danielle, including USBC Queens. Outside Chicago, she was the four seed. Lost that night to Lara Plasas. High shot, left lane. She stuck with the ball on the left lane that she had changed to. She agreed to make the, make the move. Still not deep enough. Did not get that ball as far right, but I have to tell you, I think the lanes are breaking down. It's starting just to hook up earlier and earlier on this left lane. 3 6 10. Got that covers. And honestly, on the left lane, because you're only going to be able to, I mean, there's plenty of, uh, obviously, area to move to the left. At this point, it's almost like you want to just throw it a little bit harder and fade it back to the pocket to make sure you keep it in the pocket. Yeah, it gets deeper. Yeah. Quick strategy chat with Sean Ryan Tura. 37 pin advantage for McCarthy. Eighth frame, right lane, works on a spare that had a hurry and did not and missed the pocket. The one, two, eight stands for McCarthy here. It is the eighth frame of the U.S. Open. Just a bad shot. She lost this one off her hand. Could have been more disastrous. Leaves the one, two, five. Just needs to take deep breaths and make shots, just like Danielle is going to get ready to make another move. I'm nervous. I'm Me too. My palms are sweaty. Me too. Looking to cover, does so. 
clutch spare. Trying to maintain the big advantage late in the championship match. Back on CBS Sports Network, PWBA Tour Championship in Dallas, Tuesday, August 9th, 7 Eastern. Third and final major. Our final live telecast here at CBS Sports Network of the 2022 PWBA Tour season. Home show for you. Yes. Works out. I think I'm going to show up in Rochester next year, <laughs> Dave. Can't wait. Foundation frame, left lane, comes in a touch high, gets the ball anyway. Big strike from McCarthy. Not as much angle on that shot, but remember I said that left lane, it's almost to the point where they need to get deep enough and just do what you need to do, rock it to the pocket, play fallback if you need to, get the ball to stop. You need it to slow down, and she gets the break on tripping the 4-7. You don't get points for pretty, although I think that's pretty. No emotion from here all night. Might be saving it up for a championship. McEwen right lane needs something here and a flat 10. Made the adjustment. Great shot on this right lane. Almost leaves another 7 10, leaves the flat 10. Just not quite able to get the ball through the pins. Rolling it. I mean, she's throwing it physically so good. Moved deeper. Got that ball to the spot down the lane. Just not quite enough. Just another 10 pin for the 11th time member of Team USA. Seeking her eighth career title as we saw third major tonight. Fifth time she's been on the U.S. Women's Open show. 2019 winner. Lots of experience. Huge season. But unfortunately, when she tries to close it out, hasn't quite worked out yet. Went back to the ball she started with, made the move, and I think that's the right move. Here's the two pin. This match is mathematically over. McCarthy has won the 2022 U.S. Women's Open Championship. It's her first career major. Her first tour title since 2018. And the big prize money as well for Aaron. It is a huge time in her life getting married in September. And a championship tonight for Aaron McCarthy. Fantastic bowling, climbing the step. Trip 10 pin late for McEwen. The top seed will be the runner up again Great for the ball. second straight week. Great ball. Aaron McCarthy has won the 2022 U.S. Women's Open here in South Glens Falls, New York. We'll be back in a few moments here on CBS Sports Network and here for the champion right after this. Aaron McCarthy wins the 2022 U.S. Women's Open. Spectacular run in the step ladder. Shayna Ung, Shannon O'Keefe, Jordan Richard, and then the top seed, Danielle McEwen. It's time now for the trophy, green jacket, and check presentation to Aaron McCarthy winning her first career major. Let's go down to Carolyn. Okay, we have the trophy here. Doug Bohannon, proprietor of this wonderful bowling center. I know that lovely trophy is not staying with you very long. It's not. It's, it's quite heavy. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron, congratulations on an amazing run from last night right through to the night. Congratulations, the U.S. Open champion. Thank you so much. Thank you. And the second, the second piece that you get is the green jacket from Allison Bohannon. Thank you. Uh, I don't know how we're going to do this. There we go. All right, that'll work. Congratulations, great job. And Thank I'm not sure so which one's more important. Yeah. I mean, I don't know where you're going, but we have Frank DeSocio, who is the BPA Executive Appreciate Director it. with a lovely check for our winner. Thank you, Aaron, and thank you for all 3,400 bowling proprietors around the country for this. And more importantly, thank you for what you do during COVID and being a first responder during all the pandemic. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
congratulations to Thank Aaron you to McCarthy. everyone. She's Aaron, I am going to try not to get choked up because that was absolutely awesome. Um, I have I, I've just seen you grow as a bowler over the years, and you made a ball change in that second game that I think was the changing factor of each match. Tell us about it. Yeah, I was talking to Nathan um, after that game too. The Jackal Ghost just wasn't allowing me to get it through the mids. We needed to make a ball change. You know, I didn't come here to play it safe, so we took a risk. The wrong risk to start, but that led me to the final ball decision, which eventually gave me the title. So, yeah, I don't, I have no words right now. Okay, but $60,000, I want to know what are you going to do? Gamble? Go on a vacation? Uh, I think I'm going to buy some sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Well, buy me a pair while you're at it. Congratulations again. Dave, back to you. Carol, thanks so much. Aaron McCarthy has won the 2022 U.S. Women's Open Championship here in South Glens Falls. Coming up, we need to talk here on CBS Sports Network now for the entire crew. And CDB, it's Dave Ryan saying so long. The night belongs to Aaron McCarthy.